length okay we are closing it here is equal to zero if if condition for each local area it seems right to me hello how are you guys doing i know it's been a while since i made any video because i was occupied with something else and i am very 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 sorry for that so today in this lesson we will learn how to remove duplicate items from an array without using union function using union function it's like a piece of cake to remove duplicate items but today we will see how we can do that without using union function okay cool without wasting further more time let's get right into our video so here is my array of strings wherein you can see requested is repeated pending is repeated sent for approval is also repeated but approved is not repeated so i will be removing all the duplicates one okay so yeah let's do it so before that i will be using a uh, for each loop to achieve that and uh, where contains function remove function and uh, r drop i will be telling you when and where to use remove function what is the use case and there are already some videos on r drop l drop and where contains in my channel you can go check out cool so what does this remove function do it accepts two parameter array and index okay so let's take local values as our array local values now i want to remove pending which is at index 3 so i'll just pass 3 as the second parameter and if i test this rule out it will give it will return me the list containing all these elements but not the element which is at index 3 okay let me quickly test it out here you go requested requested let me one let me count them 1 2 3 4 5 6 here are six items and 1 2 3 Four, five, six, seven. Here are seven items. So it has removed this item from our array. Okay. If I pass one, it is gonna remove the first one. Cool. See, it has removed the first one. Okay. So that's how remove works. Okay. Now we have to use for each. which will iterate through this list cool for each items is going to be a local variable that is local values and in expression first of all we will be using where contains because we need to get the index of a particular item that where all it has occurred okay if i want to get the index of this element pending okay i want to know apart from this where all it lies okay so it lies at index 8 sorry 7 okay apart from this apart from index 3 it lies at index 7 okay so i want to know that index so i will be using where contains for that where contains it accepts two parameter values and uh, array so value is going to be our fb item the first item okay fb item first of all it is it will check for the so for the first it iteration it will check for requested okay and i will be searching this value in my list i will be searching this item in my list okay but before that i will let's say i uh, i want to look for this pending status in my list so i will remove this pending from the list okay and then if the current item is pending and all these state uh, all these statuses 
fall before pending so i will look for pending in this list okay whatever falls before the current item cool so fb item i will look for that value for the current item fb item i look for the fb item in my local values array okay and i will remove the current index okay fb index so what it will do it will remove the current index let's say if our fb item is pending it is going to remove pending from my list cool so it will look for this item in you can say in this in this list okay because this doesn't have pending right which is at index 3 i need to look for this value in this list okay so whatever is falling before this before the current item how can i remove this the remaining items that for that i will be using r drop it also accepts two parameter that is array and the number this is going to be my array and i want to remove all this okay whatever falling after my current item okay i want to remove all this from my list so how can i do that i have i am i have already removed the current item okay using remove function now i went out now i want to remove whatever whatever is falling after that current item cool so what i'll do i'll get the count of my local values okay using length function length okay so it will return me 7 as my count of my local variable okay from that i will be subtracting the current index let's say the count is 7 and the current index is 3 so 7 minus 3 gives 4 right so i will be dropping four item from the right hand side using r drop okay so minus fb index cool cool now it will look for the fb item in this array which is this okay it will look for pending in this list okay now after this i want to know the length so it is going to count the index okay if it occurs two times it return it will return me the length has two okay length of this where contains so let's take pending as a current item so it will look for pending in this list okay whatever is falling before that current item so it is nowhere in this list right pending is nowhere in this list if it if it is equal to 0 if the length so length will return me 0 for this item okay and if the length is equal to 0 if the length is equal to 0 then return me the fb item right i need to use if condition before that if 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 the length is 0 then return me the fb item else return me nothing okay let's let's test this rule out it says invalid symbol found close parenthesis okay there might be some right parenthesis missing or it could be left length okay we are closing it here is equal to 0 if if condition for each local value it seems right to me then what is going wrong where contains okay length where contains 
drop okay here fp index is missing cool there is some problem with this community addition i think it is under maintenance maybe god knows okay let me test this rule out here you go requested pending sent for approval approved so it has given me the list of all unique statuses okay no status is repeated cool but i want to remove this null value from this array how can i remove that so for removing in order to remove null value from the array we we have to use reject function okay so before that for before this for each loop i will be using reject and i will be rejecting and i will be rejecting the null value so function is null if it is function is null okay so it will remove the null value from this array okay let me test this rule out again yay so i think that's all for today if you want more such videos please like my video share it as much as you can and yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video until then cheers